Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ, or topic for today. It's all about how to determine if the function is quadratic or not by means of equation, table of values, and graph. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's start with equation. So in quadratic function class, you need to know the general form of quadratic function. So the equation of quadratic function, there will be f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So this is the equation of quadratic function, or you can also write this as y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So f of x, that's equals to y. So you can write either of these two. Now, in the equation of quadratic function, the thing that you will do, you will know that it is a quadratic function by means of equation. If the highest degree is 2, what do you mean by that, sir? If the highest exponent is 2. Okay, if the highest exponent is 2, therefore, that function or that equation is a quadratic function. So, first thing and foremost, you check the degree, the exponent of the given equation. If it's 2, automatic, that's quadratic function. Alright, so, just in case, if you don't have the value of b and c, if b and c are not given, so, example, you have y equals 3x squared, you don't have the value of b. Of course, 3 here is our a. Okay, from this given equation, 3 is our a. And x squared, since we have an exponent of 2, therefore, this this function is a quadratic function. This equation is a quadratic function. So, you don't have the value of b and c. So, therefore, if you don't have the value of b and c, therefore, b and c in this function is 0. Okay, they are 0. So, this is a quadratic function since the degree is 2. Alright, so that's the thing there. The first thing that you need to check is the degree. Alright, let's start with number 1. So, the highest degree is 2. Therefore, this function is a quadratic function. Okay, this is quadratic function. Quadratic function. I will just get, I will just put QF, quadratic function. So, for number 2, is it quadratic or not? So, check the degree for x. x, the exponent is just 1. So, therefore, since the exponent is just 1, so do not forget plus that any variable, any letter, there is an exponent of 1. So, example A, there is an exponent of 1. B, there is an exponent of 1, understood to be 1. So, in this case, since the exponent is just 1, therefore, this is not a quadratic function. I will just put not. Not. For number 3, check class. The highest exponent. Is it 2? Do we have 2 right there? Yep. So, the, ex the highest exponent is 2. So, therefore, this is a quadratic function. Alright. So, for number 4. Check the degree. What's the highest exponent? Do we have 2? Yes, we have 2, but the highest exponent there is 3. So, therefore, this is not a quadratic function. The highest exponent is 3, so therefore, this function is not a quadratic function. How about number 5 class? Check number 5. What's the highest exponent? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. That's 1. And the other one, the exponent is x, so therefore... This is not a quadratic function. How about number 6 class? Number 6, check. Mm -hmm. Yep, you don't have the value of b and c, but you have the exponent of 2. So therefore, this is a quadratic function. Alright, how about number 7? How will you fix that? Number 7. Now for number 7, you need to simplify it first. So this one, you can do the FOIL method. So... I will just write it here. FOIL method. Do you still remember the FOIL method? x minus 2 and x plus 4. So the FOIL method, do not forget. First, outer, inner, last, FOIL. So x times x. So x times x, that would be x squared first. Then outer, x times 4. So x times 4. x times positive 4, that's positive 4x. Alright, so inner, negative 2 times x, that's negative 2x. Then last, negative 2 times positive 4, that's negative 8. Then combine like terms, combine this one. So you have, final answer will be x squared, combine, 4 minus 2, that's 2x. Then minus 8. So this is now the equation for number 7. So, I will just write the equation here. You pause the video class. I will be erasing this one. So, for number 7, this will be the equation. 
So, number 7, x squared plus 2x minus 8. Is it a function? Okay, I will just put y. Forgot to write y. y equals x squared plus 2x minus 8. Is it a function? Is it a quadratic function or not? Yep, that's a quadratic function. The highest degree is 2. Quadratic function. Alright, so number 8, last one. So, first thing, since there is a uh, parenthesis, so therefore, we need to simplify. So, distributive property class. 3x times 4x. 3x times 4x, that would be 12x squared. So, y equals 3x times 4x, that's 12x squared. Next one, 3x times positive 5, that's positive 15x. Alright, is it a quadratic function or not? Yep, that's the quadratic function. So, because the highest degree is 2. Quadratic function. And you don't have the value of C. You have B, which is 15. So, but still, this is a quadratic function since the highest degree is 2. Alright, so that's how you check if it's quadratic function or not. So, that's D for the equation. Very easy, right? Now, let's go to the table of values. So, let me just erase this part. So, just pause the video class for the equation. So, let's go now to the table of values. Alright, so the table of values class. To check if this is a function or not, you need to get the difference of y. So, get the difference of y. So, let me just explain this and then later on we will answer this one. Now, when you get the difference of y, you need to start at right to left. So, start at right going to left. Now, when the, dif when the first difference, when you subtract the the numbers right to left when you get the same answer on the first difference when you get the same answer therefore that function is not a quadratic it is a linear function okay let me just repeat it when you subtract the y value starting from right to left and your answers are the same therefore that function is not a quadratic function it is a linear function because in quadratic function you need to get the second difference the second difference must be the same. So let, let's explain that further. Answering number one. So let's start subtracting this number. So y values from right to left. So 11 minus 2. So 11 minus 2, that's 9. Alright, 11 minus 2 is 9. So you will start class right to left. So 11 minus 2 is 9. So 2 minus negative 5. Okay, let me just subtract it. 2 minus negative 5. So, 2 minus negative 5. So, multiply the signs. So, this will be 2. Negative times negative is positive 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. So, this will be 7. Alright, next. Negative 5 minus negative 10. Alright, let me just write it here. So, negative 5 minus negative 10. So, negative 5, negative times negative, that's positive 10. Alright, negative 5 plus 10. If the signs are not the same, subtract then copy the sign of the larger number. So, we have 10 minus 5 is 5. Since 10 is greater than 5, we have positive 5. So, 5, positive 5. And last, negative 10 minus 13. So, negative 10 minus negative 13. So, negative 10, then distributive property. Distribute this, ne this signs. Negative times negative, that's positive 13. Alright, once again, class, you cannot subtract 10 and 13 directly because there are signs. You need to multiply the signs. Simplify the signs first. So, negative times negative is positive. So, this will be, okay, check. If the signs are not the same, subtract then copy the sign of the larger number. So, 13 minus 10 is 3. 13 is greater, so we have positive 3. Alright, so let me explain this. Now, when you subtract the first difference and your answers are all the same, okay, when your answers are all the same, therefore, this function is a linear function. It is not a quadratic function. Okay, because in quadratic function, you need to get the second difference. If the second difference are the same, therefore, this function is a quadratic function. So, since this, the, the answer for this one are not the same, so the difference, the first difference are not the same, so we need to get the second difference. Okay, second difference. So, 9 
minus 7. So 9 minus 7 is 2. 7 minus 5 is 2. So first, this is the first difference. I will just put first D, first difference. Then 5 minus 3 is 2. So the second difference is the same. Okay, now when you get the second difference and the difference are all the same, so therefore this function is a quadratic function. So therefore this function is a quadratic function for number one. All right, so that's it. That's how you that's how you check in tables of values if the function is quadratic function or not. Once you get the second difference and the difference are all the same, therefore this function is quadratic function. So when you get the first difference and they are not the same, so you need to check the second difference. If this if it is the same, therefore this function is quadratic function. So let's try number two. Check if this is a quadratic function or not. So once again, in quadratic function, it should be the second difference. Okay, we subtract 5 minus 4. So 5 minus 4 is 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Now, when the first difference are the same, therefore this function is not a quadratic function. It is a linear class. This is a linear function. So this is not. Okay, always remember that in the fun in the tables of values, the quadratic function, it should be the second difference. Once you subtract the y values from right to left and the first difference are all the same, therefore this function is not a quadratic function. Alright, that's how you check for the tables of values. Now let's go to graph. Now how will you check if the function is quadratic or not based on the graph? Now in the graph class is we need to make the vertical line test. We need to do the vertical line test. Now, when you do the vertical line test within the graph, so this is the graph, the graph opens upward, the parabola opens upward. This one, it, it opens on the right side, sidewards on the right, and this one is the parabola opens downward. Now, to check if it's quadratic or not, we need to do the vertical line test. In the vertical line test, if there's only one point intersecting on that line within this graph, this graph class, the, 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 the graph that I'm uh, saying this one there, this one here, this graph. Okay, this is the parabola. This one is this graph. And this one is the graph going downwards. So we need to do the vertical line test. Alright, so let's check. Making the vertical line test within this graph. If there's only one point intersecting in this graph, therefore this function, this graph is a quadratic function. Alright, so let's do a vertical line test. Anywhere class on this graph, if there's only one point intersecting in this graph, therefore this function is a quadratic function. So this is a quadratic function. Alright, how about this number two? So make a vertical line test. Alright, vertical line test. My line is not straight, so you can do another line. Alright, vertical line test. Now checking on this graph. As you can see, there are two points intersecting in this graph. So we have two points intersecting in this graph. This one and this one. So therefore, this is not a quadratic function. Alright, so last one, number three. Let's try number three. So we make a vertical line test. Any, any part, anywhere in this uh, graph class, in this parabola, anywhere you can write this vertical line test here, here, and the middle part. So I will just write in the this right side. So as you can see, there's only one point intersecting in this graph. So therefore, this is a quadratic function. Alright, so that's how you check based on graph class if the function is quadratic or not. You just make a vertical line test. So let's try another last, last one example for the graph. So what if we have a graph like this? Then... We do uh, the parabola opens to the left. So what about this one? Is this a function or not? So when you do a vertical line test, and there are two points intersecting in this graph, so therefore this this graph here is not a quadratic function. This is not. All right. So that's it. That's how you check if the the function is quadratic or not by equation, table of values, and graph. 
So once again, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, share to your friends, class, and to your classmates so that we can help them. So once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.